So I believe as an IT help desk engineer, one of the most issues you'll be facing at your work is Windows 10 or Windows 11 not responding or sometimes the device restarting itself probably because there are some updates which needs to complete or the user complaining that he's receiving a kind of a blue screen as the BSOD that is blue screen of death. So how do you actually try to resolve this issue because if you are staying in the same location if you are working from the same location as a user then it's easy to actually resolve this problem but if you are working from a different location as a user how do you actually try to resolve a situation whereby a user's device keep restarting and is giving uh, the bso data as a blue screen of death how do you actually try to resolve this issue first of all you want to ask the user some questions to actually get um, some information on why the user is receiving that error message but first thing you want to ask the user is were there any update on that device did um did the user install any application uh, any application on his device yes or no because sometimes there are some application that you get in, that you install on your device because of maybe a specific driver but because the driver is not compatible with your windows 10 on windows 11 you keep on receiving error message or the device keep restarting so you want to actually ask the user all this question to see for example if there's a specific update sometimes there are some updates which are known to cause blue screen of death error message severe error message and it keeps restarting the device so if there are any updates that are causing this issue you want to actually go to go to the windows go to windows update and from windows update there you want to actually check for um, update history and then we can actually um, uninstall that specific update which is actually causing windows to crash here you can see we have some um, update we can actually on un uninstall update so let me just click on the uninstall update to see if we have some options of update that can be uninstalled from our device here you can see it takes me automatic automatically to programs and future and then uninstall update it's going to give me not all updates you can actually uninstall from your device but you can also use PowerShell script to un uninstall a specific update here you can see we have some updates and this update not even not even all updates we can on uninstall we just have the first option which we can actually remove so if you are working for a company except that device is new you may have hundreds of updates that, are, that have already been installed on this device what you need to do is to actually filter the update by installed on and it's going to give you the time and date when this when the update was installed and also we want to actually check if we can actually boot that device to into advanced mode so by putting the device the device into advanced mode it gives up the option to actually recover and try to actually go back again to history and see if we can actually fix that um, um, issue of getting the blue screen of death or not and also mind you we can decide to actually do a system restore if for example in your company or that device uh, let me just click enter restore if for example a system restore has already been configured on that device and the we can actually try to do um, you can see it says create a restore point so i've not actually create any restore um on this device we can actually decide to actually just say, create a restore point and try to see if we can actually restore this device to a previous date that actually works for um for the device here at this moment we don't have any restore points we can use because it has not been configured on this device what we can also do is if i go back again to system here we have the option called recovery say so reset advanced startup and go back so if i click on that you can see we can actually reset this device or we can fix problem without resetting your PC. It says resetting can take a while. First resolve issue by running troubleshooter. So what you can actually do is to click on the troubleshooter and try to actually see since other troubleshooter and try to actually see what could actually be causing the problem. So let me just go back again once more and here it says recommended troubleshooter history so here you can see your device has not run any recommended troubleshooter at this moment so then you want to actually check if there are any recommended troubleshooter history which you can run to actually fix the problem 
and also if I go back again to system and I go to recovery and here you have the option called restart your device to so change settings uh, startup settings including startup from a disk or USB so if I click restart now it's going to take me to the advanced mode whereby I'll have the option to actually uh, uh, boot this device into a recovery mode or a, um, into safe mode and what you also want to do again is to actually reset we can actually try to reset this device but mind you resetting this device is going to actually try to reinstall this device you have the option to actually keep your files or to actually delete remove all your files personal files and settings which um, of course is going to delete every single document you've created in the past so you want to you are you should be very very careful with these options before you try to reset your device but i think to me the reset um, option should always be your last option because by resetting your device you may lose all your files and also you want to make sure that you back up all your document and files before you try to carry out this restore reset option because it will definitely definitely take off all the documents on your device and also if your device has been upgraded for example from one version to the other you know you will have different version of windows if i just go and enter the windows version here you can see we have the wrong command so let me just click on that and you can see at this moment this version is a 21h2 so probably you are actually trying to update your your device was updated from a previous version to the latest version or to an to an um, to a newer version and then you started receiving error message or blue screen of death so you want to actually also um, ask the user to see if this is actually the cause of the problem and as you may know not all devices are actually compatible with windows 11 and also with the um, latest update of windows so if that device is not compatible you may want to check how long has that has, has the user been using that device so sometimes like the company i work for they have a five year i think four to five year policy whereby if you purchase a new device after four or five years the device will be replaced so if a user keeps calling on that he's having the device is slow he's receiving blue, blue screen of death and we, we observe that that device is more than five years old the only option the last option we give the user is to actually replace ask his manager for his device to get replaced because that's part of the company's policy because if a user's device is actually slow, of course, the user will not be functioning very well. And it's also costing the companies a lot of money because the user keeps on calling the IT help desk that he's having issues with his device where it's instead of working. So I think most companies would prefer to actually replace that user's device or even give the user a spare device for the user to be productive than actually losing a lot of hours trying to actually fix IT problems.